There's something about fresh baked goods coming out of your own oven that makes them taste even better. These sour cream cranberry pecan scones are something else. Let's get cooking with style. The trick to having fluffy, flaky, light scones is having your butter as cold as it possibly can be. And I just took this cut up butter out of the refrigerator. You can see nice little cubes there. And then if you have a pastry knife, that's gonna make it a lot easier. If not, you gotta do it by a fork and it's really hard. So this is just going back and forth and it's tedious, but it'll take about three or four minutes to cut all this butter into this baking mix. I'm just using like a, a Bisquick or like a crusty, something like that. And I'm folding this butter into the flour mix. I'll see you on the other side. All right, you see how this flour mixture is a little grainy? That's the butter all cut into it. Now we're gonna add our ingredients. So I'm doing cranberry and pecans, but you can make any kind of combination you like. It just so happens that's what I'm using here. And you could make these savory too. You could do like, you know, cheddar cheese or something like that. Fold this in so it's all combined nicely. And now the next step is the sour cream. And this is where the exact ingredients don't really work out. You're gonna to have to kind of play it by ear. We're gonna start with about, say, three quarters of a cup of sour cream and we'll start folding that in until we get a nice doughy mixture. So this is the consistency you're looking at here. Kind of doughy, wet, but not uh, you know flaky and light yet. Okay, so we've got our cookie sheet, a little bit of butter on there, and now you decide how big you want your scones. I'm gonna go medium large here, and we're gonna leave them all crusty like this because man, there's nothing better than those crispy, crunchy edges on your scones when you take them out of the oven. So I'm gonna get these all set up, on my pan and then we'll do the finishing touches here with a little bit of cream and sugar. I'll just get six on here and that'll be enough to go. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of cream here. I'm just gonna brush the tops of these. This is actually half and half. I always call half and half cream. Growing up, my dad called it cream. So that's why I call half and half cream. And then to this, I'm just gonna take a little bit of sugar and sprinkle that over the top. That'll add a nice little crunch to these guys. And I've got my oven preheated and ready to go. Let's get them in there. So make sure you keep your eye on these scones. Check them in about 10, 12 minutes. Depending on the size of your scones, these will take about 15 to 18 minutes. These are large, so they took a little bit longer. Remember, they're hot too. So let's plate these up. I'd like to just put them out like this to let folks just dig in. Maybe some scrambled eggs with these or just by themselves in a, a bowl of fruit. But I can't resist, so I'm gonna take one of these. I got a little butter on the side, like I need any more butter in this though. Get some strawberry jam over the top. Mmm. So flaky and with those little edges, it is so crunchy and good. Sour cream cranberry pecan scones. The recipe at cbs8.com slash recipes. I gotta have another bite. Mm -hmm.